Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a balsamic mustard vinaigrette. Cue the music. Alright, well welcome back to It's Only Food. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you being here from whatever platform you're joining us on. Go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and make sure you share this video with everybody you know. Like I said, we're going to be making a balsamic mustard vinaigrette. Let's drop down here and see what our ingredients are. We have got two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, four teaspoons of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of finely minced shallot, one teaspoon of mayo, one teaspoon of thyme, quarter teaspoon of salt, and quarter teaspoon of pepper, and six tablespoons of olive oil. Let's start mixing it up. All right, you want to get yourself a big enough bowl. This makes a quarter of a cup. So first thing I want to do is add all the ingredients except for the olive oil. So we're just going to put our Dijon right in, our mayonnaise right in, thyme, salt and pepper, and the shallots. I'm just going to mix these up with the spatula before we add our balsamic. We want to whisk all that together, get that emulsification starting. Then we're going to add our olive oil. We're just going to drizzle this in slowly. Bring this all together, stir really well. Got a nice vinaigrette here. I have got a salad that we're gonna make. We're gonna dress that with this and come back and give it a taste. Enjoy these pictures. Beautiful, beautiful uh, pictures there. Look at the, our dressing. Very, very good. Smells fantastic. You can smell that mustard and that balsamic vinegar. Very strong. Very strong. I dressed the salad a little bit for the pictures, but we can go ahead and mix this up. You want to make sure you're using a, a kind of a mellow salad dressing, or I'm sorry, mellow lettuce. I like I use bib here for it because it's kind of a gentle leaf and it brings out the flavor of our dressing a little more. If you use more assertive um, like chicory or endive things like that it's got a stronger taste to it and you won't taste the vinaigrette as much. You also want to make sure that you're using a very delicate leaf for that and save your your heavier dressings for like iceberg or green leaf or romaine. They, they hold up better. This is like a very tender leaf lettuce that we're using and it makes the, the uh, vinaigrette stand out a little bit better. There's a picture of that right there. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Of course I threw jalapenos in the salad and I wasn't thinking when I made it. Kind of throws off the whole balance of the thing, so I'm not going to eat those. I'll eat them off camera later. But another view of that. It just clings so nice to the less the lettuce. I don't know if you can see that here, just shimmering in the light. You can see that everywhere. But very good dressing. You can taste the balsamic, the mustard. That oil really brings it all out. Salt and pepper bringing out that flavor too. Um, the shallots help me interact with that and give it a little bit of a balance with the, the crunch factor. But very good. This does store well. Keep it in a jar, Tupperware, whatever you got. Little sealed container. Very nice. And then you can just shake it in here too before you use it. 
but it doesn't make much, but you don't need a whole lot, about a tablespoon on a salad. Mix that salad up with it. You don't want to coat it so much where it's just drenched with it. You just want a little bit in there, give it a little hint of flavor, and just dress your greens gently. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. These rappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat bumping, bumping from the soul kitchen. <laughs> now what you fixing up? Good food, soul food, come and pick it up. These rappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat bumping, bumping from the soul kitchen. Uh-huh.